this year is to be a lot more conscious of where my clothing comes from and obviously again to buy less clothing and to really minimize the amount of stuff that I have. I'm going to focus more on quality items and things that I love. In this video, I'm going to show you how I like to layer and not look like a puffy snowman. Sweater hug! some of my favorite winter DIY clothes, and so much more. If we could get this video to 15,000 thumbs up in a week, I will do another clothing hacks video. Be sure to watch the entire video and subscribe to my channel to enter this month's giveaway. Subscribe, click the button here or down below to join my YouTube family. Don't forget to click on the notification bell as well. So without further ado, let's get started. to shop for winter clothing, go into your brother, boyfriend, or even dad's closet and borrow one of their shirts. The very first way you can wear this oversized shirt is by wearing it as a jacket. So I'm just going to put it on. With these sleeves, I'm going to roll them up because it's looking a little bit too baggy for me. your oversized men's shirt is by wearing it as a wrap top. The very first step is to wear your shirt normally, to cross over your top and tuck it in. So bring the fabric over and tuck in each side without buttoning your top. And there you have it. This is a really easy winter clothing hack to make any oversized shirt fit you a lot better. of hot chocolate or coffee next to the fireplace. You can transform any oversized men's shirt into a skirt. If you guys are a long time viewer of my channel, then you must have seen this hack so many different times now. Once you have your shirt buttoned as high as possible, we're going to turn it around. <laughs> If I could turn it around, it's so hard with jeans on. Now that I have the shirt on backwards, I'm going to bring the shoulder part up and bring the two sleeves together and wrap it around the smallest part of my body. With these sleeves, I found a very neat trick to tie everything together. So now that I have it around my waist, I'm going to actually button the two sleeves together. Out the jeans, I'm going to layer on top a chunky turtleneck sweater and there you have it, a very simple way you can wear your oversized men's shirt as a skirt. The other day I was shopping and I found this super cute sweater from Free People. I died a little bit on the inside because I realized it was out of my budget. I spent over $150 on a sweater that I feel like I can easily DIY myself. For the next winter clothing hack, I'm going to show you how to make your own oversized sweater with a lace back detail. First, find an oversized sweater or sweater that you want to update. Be sure to find one with loose knitting similar to this because anything with a more tightly woven knit will be very hard to work with, especially since the holes are a lot smaller and tighter together. For this DIY, you will need an oversized sweater, ribbon of your choice. I decided to go with a gray one just to match my sweater. The lace back detail will add a nice modern look to the sweater. To thread the ribbon through the sweater, you're going to need some sort of sharp object. You can either use a pencil or a knitting needle. To make threading your ribbon through your sweater super simple, just lay the fabric corner right over top of the pointy section of your knitting needle. I'm going to start the ribbon here around the area where the armpit begins. Once you push this through, just pull it through the other side gently with your fingers. is complete the last piece is to add a bow to the bottom of the ribbon here is the final sweater I decided to wear off the shoulder just so you could see a peek of my bralette overall I love that I didn't have to spend any money on this DIY I just found an oversized sweater from my closet and a ribbon and voila I hacked my own winter sweater 
You can definitely customize this DIY. You can add a lace-up detail on the side of your sweater, on the back, or on the front. One winter clothing hack you must try is to heat up your clothes before putting it on. I know this sounds kind of silly, but honestly, it makes such a big difference. Things as simple as a bralette, your undergarments, jeans, or tops. Place your clothes in front of a compact heater or blow dryer for about 30 seconds, and when you put it on, your body will definitely thank you for staying nice and warm. To make any pom-pom detachable, all you will need is a safety pin. You can make this interchangeable pom-pom attachable to any t-shirt, to any beanie, sweater. And I'm going to add on top this beige pom-pom. I think it'll be a nice cute touch. So taking my safety pin, I'm just going to pin this to the top of the... So here are the final pom-pom beanies. My favorite one has to be this multicolored one. And then my second favorite is the pink one right here. One of my biggest struggles during the winter time is figuring out how to properly layer. Sometimes I end up looking like a giant puffy snowman. I'm going to show you how I like to layer for the winter season and look stylish at the same time. The very first layer I like to put on is a bodysuit. And I don't know about you guys, but I always find this little piece really awkward and I never really clip the two clips together because it's kind of uncomfortable. So I just usually just tuck that in. Now I feel nice and insulated with everything tucked in. You guys know my obsession with jeans. I love wearing jeans all year round and winter is no exception. So instead of layering with a chambray shirt, which is something that I usually would gravitate towards, try layering with a denim jacket. An oversized sweater can definitely transform your jean jacket and make it a lot more winter appropriate. Now with our sweater, let's roll up the sleeves. To keep my head nice, toasty, and warm, I'm going to put on my favorite beanie. These jeans are high-waisted, so it even keeps my midsection a little bit more warm. Last but not least, we can't forget our jacket. What's great about this jacket is it is adjustable around the waist, so you can cinch it in really easily by pulling on these two strings here. Since I live in California, it really doesn't get that cold here. The coldest it ever really gets is around like 50 degrees. So comment down below and let me know what is the weather like where you live and how cold is it right now. you guys but my hands are always freezing during the winter time I mean I guess even all year round and I wanted to share with you a really cool winter hack using socks to create your own hand warmers for our DIY hand warmers we're going to need some rice and a pair of fuzzy socks I found these fuzzy socks from my local dollar store inside of our socks I'm going to put in about a cup of rice I just want something about the size of my palm so I can hold on to it. Just tie this into a nice tight knot. And with the excess fabric, just bring it over. And now you have a little fuzzy ball. Here's the finished hand warmers. I definitely made these a little bit too big, but you could definitely resize this. You can heat these up in the microwave for about 30 seconds, place them into your bed at night, and when you get in, it'll be nice, toasty, and warm. Since it's halfway through the new year, I wanted to do a giveaway for you guys, just as a thank you, again, for just all of your love and appreciation. The theme of this giveaway is self-care. So all of my favorite beauty products, products that I love to use whenever I wanna relax, and things that I love that makes me feel beautiful. So all you have to do to enter this giveaway is just be subscribed to my YouTube channel. And I would love if you could follow me on Instagram as well. My username is Fashion by Ally. As always, all of the giveaway rules will be down below in the description box. I would love for you to leave a comment telling me how you practice self-care, what are some of the things that you do in your free time to just relax and take care of yourself. I feel like I owe you guys an explanation on where I've been and why I haven't been uploading as consistently as I used to. I'm not gonna lie, 2017 was an amazing year for us. Our YouTube family grew to 650,000 of you guys. And honestly, it just started to overwhelm me. I've never really publicly talked about this on my channel, but I'm a workaholic and I honestly 
don't know when to stop and I was just working so hard last year that I completely burned out by the end of the year and I was so tired I just couldn't get out of bed and I didn't know what it was until I realized that I wasn't taking enough breaks for myself because I didn't take any breaks I mentally and physically burned out I was so tired I couldn't even film a video I was so anxious and I just pretty much spent December just kind of lying in bed and think so for 2018 you can expect to see more clothing hacks from me more DIYs lookbooks be sure to follow me on YouTube reels which is YouTube's version of videos that expire after 24 hours or just like short form iPhone videos you can find my YouTube reels under the subscription tab just click on my icon on the top of the page I love you guys so so much and I will see you guys next time bye I hope you guys are excited for my very first... <laughs> okay, every single time I always button my shirt the wrong way and I have a hole in it. Don't do this, guys. <laughs> I've always wanted to slide into my videos and by the way, I am wearing shorts underneath this really giant shirt. And there you have it, a very simple way to wear your long sleeve skirt as a shirt. Because we're going for that blogger chic look, I'm not even going to put my arms through, but if I did, this is what it would look like.